Elder Scrolls Online Necrom is about to drop in June. I've got hundreds of hours in Elder Scrolls Online. I binged this game, man. Let me tell you what, going from zone to zone, completing every storyline, collecting achievements, leading entire armies in Cyrodiil PvP against the enemy factions. I did everything, man. I had it all. I even became a werewolf at one point and ripped people's throats out. And then you know what? I stopped playing. Now over time, I've certainly come back to ESO every so often, making little videos here and there of me sharing my experiences, giving the game another chance, checking out the current expansions and stuff. And let me tell you, I've had an awesome time each time that I've dived back into Elder Scrolls Online. It's a fantastic MMO. Whether I was playing alone or with friends, it was fun. But you know, I'd never stick around for a long time. I'd have fun, I'd have a memorable time, and then I'd just kind of wander back to World of Warcraft or Star Wars The Old Republic, Guild Wars 2, whatever other MMO I was checking out at the time. It was kind of sad, I admit. You know, I had so much fun with ESO, and yet I just couldn't, couldn't like sink my teeth into it. You know what I mean? Maybe some of you guys can relate to that. Maybe my time with this game was just over, I thought to myself played the game, took it all in from raiding to PvP, and now maybe I just needed a new MMO to tickle the itch, like ESO did all those years ago when I was playing it eight to 10 hours a day. But here's the thing, Elder Scrolls Online is about to release another new expansion. It's like they're busting expansions out left and right in this game. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. And what am I talking about? Necrom. Before we dive into the video though, we have to thank this channel's sponsor, Zygor. Zygor is World of Warcraft's ultimate add-on and also the sponsor for this channel, so I wanted to give them a quick shout out real fast. If you're looking for awesome leveling guides, achievement farming guides, mount collecting, gold making, you name it guys, check out Zygor today, link down below in the description. And after trying out Zygor's free version, if you decide to upgrade to full, be sure to use Nixium for 20% off. Thanks guys. All right, so first of all, let's go over what is this expansion just real fast and then I'll share my thoughts on it and kind of my plans for the future. So the big thing about Necrom, the main thing that is making a lot of people excited in the ESO community, or, you know, maybe not excited, <laughs> it's kind of divisive, but Necrom is introducing a new class to Elder Scrolls Online. And I love how ESO does classes, let me tell you. I love being able to be a necromancer, for example, all right? I mean, come on, I'm Nixium. I'm like, I'm the Death Knight from World of Warcraft. Like, come on, I love necromancers. But if one day I decide, you know, I'm playing the necromancer, but I don't care for necromancer skills or abilities, I'm just gonna go pick up some heavy armor, a big old two-handed ax, and then just become a giant warrior tank instead. Because why not? Well, in ESO, you can do that. But even if you just pick up a bunch of like two-handed axe skills and you're running around sword and shield, whatever, you still have those class abilities to play with. For a time in ESO, I was just playing as a tank in full heavy armor who summons skeletons on the side to help me in combat. Was it the meta? Hell no, it wasn't the meta. <laughs> but was it fun? Yeah, so that's why I did it. <laughs> it was great. And now we are getting a new class for Elder Scrolls Online to shake up the game. And what's it called? The Arcanist. Some people were saying it's called the Arcanist. It's pronounced, it's Arcanist, look at it. Oh my, I went to the damn Google thing and typed in how to pronounce this. Arcanist. The last video I made about Elder Scrolls Online, I called it the Arcanist and people were like, no, it's the Arcanist, Nixium. Okay, you know, who cares, right? It's the Arcanist. This is a class that can teleport around to places, use destructive, restoring, or defensive magic using runes, all with this acid green color scheme to their abilities. You look like freaking Voldemort walking around with your Avada Kedavra tier magic. These guys look gorgeous. Necrom is also set in a region near Morrowind called the Telvanni Peninsula. So if you're a fan of Morrowind, I mean, here you go. And apparently while there, we're gonna be meddling with the Daedric Prince, Hameus Mora. And who doesn't love the Daedric Princess? I mean, come on. And I also read online, and I'm not reading too much, you know, I don't wanna you know, spoil the whole game and experience for me, but I think if I remember correctly, we're gonna be entering into his realm of Apocrypha, I think. So point is, new zone, Apocrypha place, a lot to check out. Necrom is gonna introduce new companion characters to the game, a Redguard Arcanist, as well as an Argonian Warden. 
a new trial called Sanity's Edge. Those are like raids for those of you that only speak World of Warcraft. There's gonna be new delves. Those are single player dungeons in the open world. New world events. This one system about uncovering the secrets of Himaeus Mora throughout the new zone, like finding secrets. I don't know what that's all about. I guess we're gonna find out. And then of course there's new collectibles, achievements, even new cards and decks for Tales of Tribute. That's the in-game card game that exists within ESO. It's all pretty neat, right? Well, needless to say, I'm pretty excited. The expansion drops in early June, and I'm most certainly gonna be checking it out and streaming it here on Nixium, both on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. That's what I do. I'll make videos sharing my adventures in the game. I'll create a review. Necrom is gonna be a breath of fresh air, I think. At least I hope so. I've played through the game as a necromancer and a dragon knight and a warden and so on and so forth. I really just want a new class to play. And here's the thing, here's my perspective. As a veteran ESO player with hundreds of hours in this game, I think that the thing that has really kept me from really falling in love with the game all over again and committing to it, no lifestyle, it's just been the fact that I want a new way to experience ESO. I just said it, but I've played the game as the Dragon Knight and the Necromancer. I've been through the zones across Tamriel. I just really want like a new way to experience the world. I know that the ESO people watching this video might not be aware of this, but over on classic World of Warcraft, there's a giant hardcore community scene that's been popping off lately. And I think it'd be cool if ESO implemented maybe like a hardcore mode at some point. You take more damage, you have to be more tactical. One death, you're dead, I don't know. When it comes to MMORPGs, I really wanna feel like I'm going on an adventure. And I feel like I've done the adventure. I've seen that, done this, you know, I've, I've kind of lived the life. And so I'm really hoping that the Arcanist, by playing this new class, playing as maybe a race I've never played before, and just really letting myself fall into the game again, I'm really hoping that this new expansion, Necrom, can really pull me back in in a way that the game has not done in a little while. But let me preface what I'm talking about with something very, very important. Me not playing the game right now is not me suggesting that ESO is bad or that it's not a game worth checking out. Even if I'm not active on it right now, this is a really good and really solid MMORPG. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, I tried ESO when the game first came out and it sucked, and let me tell you, I'm right there with you. I can 100% relate. When ESO first came out, I thought the game was garbage. D like, it was terrible. I quit after like maybe day two or day three. But since then, all those years ago, the devs have really been pushing out expansion after expansion, gameplay overhaul after overhaul. And the game is in a very solid state right now, at least to my understanding. Again, I'm not like super active right now, so there might be something completely broken in the game at the moment that I'm not aware of. But one thing that I've appreciated about ESO, one thing that I've appreciated about the developers is they're always pushing out new content, new expansions. There's always something new and exciting on the horizon and Necrom is just the latest thing. Is it gonna suck me back in? I hope so. I'm definitely gonna play it. I'm definitely gonna make videos on it. I'm gonna criticize it if it sucks. I'm gonna praise it if it's good, and I hope you guys stay tuned for that. So will I be playing ESO Necrom? You bet your ass I will. And we're gonna play it live right here on Nixium. So, so stay tuned, stick around. The expansion drops June 5th.